India has taken a step closer to green energy. The country has opposed diluting the definition of green hydrogen, saying fuel produced from low carbon energy cannot be called green energy, as proposed some de developed nations in G20 meetings. Now, India has stressed that only renewable energy and, low, and not low carbon energy can be used to produce green hydrogen. G20 representatives are visiting at least 200 locations across the country with a focus on green energy development, inclusive uh, growth, sustainable development goals and technology transformation among the renewable energy avenues suggested by G20 delegates. The government of India's Tripura state is already working on solar and biomass-based energy. It also has plans to develop energy through use of green hydrogen. Experts had suggested that bamboo can be used to generate green energy. Tripura's chief minister said his state has at least 21 types of bamboos. He said work is already underway on producing renewable energy like solar and biomass while focusing on green hydrogen. The chief minister said his government has devised a series of incentives to attract potential investors. Several investors have expressed interest in setting up industries in Tripura in key sectors. This includes areas like E, vehicle manufacturing, hospitals, food processing, tourism, IT, pharmaceutical industry, tea and rubber. Total investment in Tripura is expected at between 100 and 300 million dollars. Notably, a G20 delegation with representatives from China, the United States, UK and other countries is currently visiting the state to attend a two-day summit. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.